What's up, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of the Weekly Roundup. It's me, Tahira. Here's the stories we had our eye on all week. From our Indie Media Club, we have, from Breaking Glass Pictures, Flee the Flight. Breaking Glass Pictures is set to release Flee the Flight, the female-fronted witchcraft-infused horror feature film from writer Jennifer Mancini. It's set to hit... VOD, which is Video On Demand, on February 19. You could head to our site right now to watch the trailer and read a review. From our major film club, we have MTV and Jackass Forever, Forever, which came out about two weeks ago about now. We have an exclusive interview, though, with Steve-O, Chris, and Wee Man, where they're explaining why they think Jackass and the type of content that they create is actually really, really good right now. And it's meant for you guys to see it in the theater because it's meant to, like, be a distraction, a very necessary distraction with things that's going on. Jackass has always been the outrageous, the, oh my gosh, don't try this at home even though they're doing it, you know? It's for us to just kind of distract ourselves, to have something really, really funny and really, really adventurous to take our minds through to distract us from our everyday lives. So they are telling us why they want you to go out into the movies and see it, and it's still available to see in the movies. So, Jackass forever. It's still Black History Month. We have a story, part of the research that I am in, Tahira, Instagram neg- neglects black usership complaints, especially during Black History Month. In June of 2020, Variety reported that Facebook-owned social media app Instagram would be reviewing its pa- practices in the wake of Black Lives Matter after the death of George Floyd. You can read more about some of our reporting. Not all of the reporting that I am a part of can be put on my website but whatever I could share I will share so this we can prove because the screenshots from people like me I let the good times roll that's my Instagram you can go on the site there's other black media people that I highlighted as well that's also being shadow banned and their content is taking a hit or ads are not doing as well as the ads are supposed to do all these different types of things that, fa- that Instagram and Facebook claim they've been working on it's 2022 it's not done In our political news, we are still following Candace Taylor, she's the old lady down in uh, Georgia. This is her campaign, Paint Georgia Red. She launches her campaign bus tour. Last week, we shared that she has boxer Nino Rodriguez, I believe, endorsing her. So, we want you guys to make sure we have a midterm election coming up in November of 2022. Make sure you guys know wherever you live in our country, you have candidates going up. There are seats available in Congress and everyone's up for grabs, right? Not everyone's seat, but there's a lot of seats up for grabs. So it's important you guys know who's coming to represent you. Head to our site to read more about Candace. So in December and January, I launched a bunch of new types of categories on the site. I wanted to just have places where people can write stories, not media or news stories, just stories that came from their brain. There's a writer, Alexander, shared a story. It's called It's Badminton. How hard is it to hit one of those things? They float straight towards you. You'd have to be an idiot to miss it. I really don't see what's the big deal about the sport anyways. Who made this a sport? It seems so lackluster. You can read more about what Alexander had to say about badminton. It's very funny on our website. We have a similar story called Mama Chilo from our writer, Victoria. Every morning I'd wake up to the sound of my door opening. Buenos dias, she'd say to me every single day. She'd stare at me with her rebozo wrapped almost all the way around her head. She wouldn't wait for me to say anything back and close the door. You can read more about this story. I think I kind of know where this one is going. It's like, abuelo, abuela. <laughs> this is written by Victoria. It's called Mama Chilo. You can go read the rest of that story. And in our entertainment, entertainment, well, I was at the Super Bowl, so shout out to Mary J. Blige, Eminem, Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg, Kendrick Lamar. People are saying it's one of the best Super Bowls ever. I think so. I was there, and the vibes were just amazing. I was working, so that was cool. And finally, we're leaving you here with my homegirl, Lizzo. Lizzo says, watch out for the big girls coming in March. It's going to be a competition show. She's tired of taking shade about being bigger. Now everybody's body can just be the same. She has a whole show coming, so we're going to keep our eyes on that. Shout out to Lizzo. March is also Women History Month. We like to call Women Empowerment Month over here. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. We'll be back next week for more.